Hello everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to install RP1 with RSS Reborn using the new installer. This tutorial will take you through the whole process and I highly recommend starting at step 1. Even if you're familiar with modding in Kerbal Space Program, a clean slate is the best way to make sure that your RSS uh, is installed properly. So first thing we're going to do, because we need a fresh install of Kerbal Space Program, is we're going to go ahead and come here. As you see here, I already have uh, this installed, and this is actually my RP1 uh, game file that we're currently doing. And so what we're going to do here, we're going to highlight everything and move everything out to its own folder. And what this does is it completely clears the Kerbal Space Program folder, allowing us to, we go right click and you go manage, uh, or excuse me, you go right click, you go properties, and then when you click on install, we're going to verify the integrity of the game file, and it's not going to see any of the game files there, so it's going to reinstall Kerbal Space Program. This is how you get a fresh install, a very stock version with uh, everything from the beginning. And if you have a file already in this Kerbal folder, uh, you're not going to be able to verify those files, and you're going to have to install it in another way or just take the version that you have and remove all the mods which can potentially lead to to errors in the file and if you're having trouble with rp1 or rss uh, that could be a potential cause if you you're working on a f file that has already been created and so with that freshly installed is now going to verify that the game files are correct and when that's done we'll have the first step completed. There we go. Fully done. We have a fresh new Kerbal Space Program folder. As we see here in the game data, there are no mods, just the uh, DLCs that I have, uh, and we are ready to go. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is open CCAN. Uh, this tutorial does kind of assume that you already have it and you already know how to use it. Uh, if you don't, I would recommend checking out a video. There's, there's plenty on that, so... Um, but yeah, this is kind of required. So we open up CCAN, and we're going to select Add a New Game Instance and uh, Add Instance to CCAN. And we're going to go to our Steam folder, open up Kerbal Space Program, and then scroll down, you'll see this is what you're looking for, the game program file, the uh, x64. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And it's going to name this just the standard Kerbal Space Program. I highly recommend renaming it. We're going to name this to RSS Reborn. And I'm going to put Installer here because I already have a version called RSS Reborn here. But you can name this whatever you want to do. If you have a, a particular naming sequence you like, if you like to you know, name it after the agency you have or just whatever you want, you just name it. Because all this is is the CCAN instance. So we're going to open that. I never really adjust this. You can make it so it's only particular mod versions you want, but I never really adjust this. It kind of just grabs the right ones automatically. We're going to hit yes, check for updates. Okay, so now that we are in CCAN, as you see here, we have no mods selected. And there's only one mod that we need. So go up here in the top and type in RP1. And then let me thin this out a little bit. Uh, what you're looking for here is the Express Install Realism Overhaul Realistic Progression 1 RORP1. Easy. Nice. Just click on that. Uh, you don't want to click on any of these except for if you want high graphics, low graphics, or medium graphics. But you can only pick... You can only pick one see if you click two then it will it will let you know that you can't do that so i'm going to choose high graphics but obviously you know if if low graphics will get you better uh, performance and you can do that or if medium graphics works for you do that if you forget and don't click this it will just ask you later so there's that but i like to just click it right at the beginning so with all that you hit apply and then as you see here the rp1 express install uh, comes with every single thing that you're going to need um, once you hit apply, it's going to give you some recommendations. Uh, you know, all of these are pretty much good. I would just keep all those. They're very helpful. And then after everything's applied, I'll go through the few additional mods that you're going to want. Once we hit continue and add that, and if you don't have RSS reborn, this, uh, tutorial will be just, you know, this is how you get RP1. 
and that'll be working. Tweak skills, it wants you to pick just one of these. Um, I'm not really sure which one is the best. Uh, so I go with uh, Rescaled Redistributed just because it's a, a later version, but I'm honestly not sure which one would be better for that. And if you don't want to do the, the RP1 career mode, you can choose this no career for RO, but uh, you know, I, I just, I, I like the career mode, so I've always uh, done it that way. So we cl click that and it very quickly installs everything that you need to, uh, to run it. And once it finishes up all the files, it didn't take very long, about three to four minutes for me. Um, but you know, that, that time may vary. Uh, we have RP1 ready. We can start playing it now. But like I mentioned, I want to... Atmospheric, okay, so atmospheric autopilot is good. Uh, I want to go through a couple mods to add. Um, the first one and most important being Wayfinder. No, not Wayfinder. Waypoint. Waypoint Manager. There we are. Uh, if you plan on doing any kind of airplane flight, um, the game doesn't come with Waypoint Manager, so you don't have any kind of way of particular, picking a particular spot to aim for. And uh, I found having a waypoint at the front of the runway has made all my airplane missions uh, so much easier because uh, the waypoint for the case uh, or the Cape Canaveral is dead center of the, the facility, so you don't want that. Uh, and then the second one is trajectories. And uh, that is just a useful mod for any kind of landing or uh, yeah, it's just trajectories is a great mod. So that's the uh, the two I like to add. It does uh, add the space tux library, which is a dependency, but um, that's fine. It doesn't interact uh, poorly with anything. So once we have installed all that, uh, we're going to run the game. And uh, if uh, you don't have uh, volumetric clouds or if RSS Reborn isn't something you want, uh, you're ready to go. You have a working version of RP1. You should have no problems, and uh, if you do have any problems with the game or anything, uh, you can you can safely say that you have uh, followed the instructions. Because honestly, the the RP1 Express install is just just that easy. It just works. It's great. So let's go ahead and run this. Even if you're doing the RSS Reborn uh, installer that this video is uh, based on, you still want to run it at least once. And as we see here from the start, it will give you this parallax warning. Um, that's because you're not set to the right uh, visual graphics and that's okay. You can go ahead and press the escape key and that will uh, get rid of that. Uh, for this, I highly recommend doing the optimization. It saves, uh, it saves me 26 seconds. Um, it uses a little bit of extra space as you see here, but I mean, sometimes saving that 26 seconds is, is useful. So if you have the space, recommend it. All right, so we're just gonna let the um, loading screen play through and I'll meet you at the main menu. All right, here we are at the main menu. I went ahead and turned the music off. Um, so we're here for two reasons. One is to just simply run the game for one, uh, the first time, which gives all the appropriate folders or pads and whatnot. And then secondly, we need to come here and adjust our uh, graphics. So first thing you want terrain scatters on. Uh, you don't need to, but I like to keep the terrain detail high. I like to add a little bit more, let's say 66%, a little more density uh, you can handle. If you turn this down, um, you'll you'll get better performance. And honestly, I've had, uh, I've gone down to uh, 25 uh, density, scatter density on both normal KSP and RSS Reborn and haven't really seen too much of a loss of items so but anyways that's up to you but what you do need to do is you need to turn uh, texture quality to uh, uh, full res and the terrain shader quality this is the most important you need to turn that to ultra you cannot run parallax without that and uh, unfortunately parallax is part of this I mean fortunately or unfortunately and of course I like to have it in full screen so we're gonna go ahead and do that as well hit apply Whoops, forgot to change my resolution. There we go. All right, and that's all you need to do for now. So go ahead and hit accept and uh, simply quit. So now you are back here, you have run the game once before 
And uh, if you have Black Rax Volumetric Cloud, make sure you download the most recent version of it uh, and keep it zipped and just put it somewhere easily accessible, somewhere where you know that you can find it. So now we're gonna go and close CCAN and open up your internet browser of source and search for RSS Reborn Installer. And uh, the top answer should be, if it's not, go search for it, but the top answer should be Druby 22s RSS Reborn Installer. And if you scroll down and see this right here, this is what we're talking about. So, it does have a couple requirements. Obviously, you need KSP. Uh, you need to have the RSS uh, installed. We just did that. You need to have some way of uh, zipping and unzipping files. 50 gigabytes free storage space. This is a, a quite a big uh, th overhaul that you're doing, so you need to have the room for it. Um, and you can run RSS Reborn without uh, volumetric clouds. Um, but this is uh, a tutorial on how to do it both. Simply, if you wanted to do it without volumetric clouds, you'll just skip that step when we get there. Uh, and then that's all you need. So go ahead, uh, come down here, go to the release installer page, and go down and find the installer.exe. Download it. We're going to put that on our desktop. And there, there it is. We're going to open it and run it. It's going to tell you this, uh, but it is, uh, as far as I know, as far as the day of this recording, it is safe. So you can go ahead and let it run anyway. And there you have it. So now we have, let's get rid of that. Uh, now we have the RSS Reborn installer set up, and this thing is phenomenal. A plus job to all who worked on it, because uh, this has made RSS, re, uh, it's just the RSS Reborn installation project process so easy so we go ahead and click i have run rss once and have backed up my game data uh you know i'll consider this my backed up game data but you know obviously however you want to do it go ahead and do that and i am using black racks volumetric clouds if you're not using it just simply don't click that let's go ahead and click next so now it's going to ask you for uh to to find your kerbal space program we have it already located if you have your kerbal in a different place, like either in the documents or on desktop or just wherever you have it, locate it there and add that. Um, and next we need to select the Raymarsh Volumetric Clouds. We put that on our desktop and here it, uh, here it is. We need to make sure that we select the zip file. I had an unzipped version right there, but we need to have the zipped file. Go ahead and click open. And then we're going to enable recommended community visual settings. Uh, we're going to add the tough acts. This is optional, but, um, or actually, no, it's not optional. Excuse me. It's, it is needed for the black racks. Um, and then we're not going to change anything else. These right here basically allow for better performance. Um, my computer can handle it, so I'm going to go for better visuals. But if you want to change the reflection to low, the textures to a lower thing, if you want to, you know, um, oh, I didn't actually notice this one. Remove parallax texture warning during game launch. That's the thing. I, I was going to say you have to press escape every single time, but that's good. See, I'm always learning. Um, if you don't want the high quality clouds config, it, uh, you can remove that. And uh, here's another way to adjust the clouds for performance boost, but we're not going to do that. It says minimal visual impact, so that's kind of cool, but eh, don't need it. Go ahead and click next. And this is where it takes you into the resolution. So for uh, the sun, there's only the, the 2K. For Mercury, there's only the 16K, same with Venus. However, Earth, we have a whopping amount of choices. Uh, I'm going to choose the 86K, because I want that. For the Luna, I'm gonna choose the 64K and a high quality mesh. And as you see, as we change these here, you'll see on the right-hand side, uh, Mars, we're gonna do, and eh, why not, 64K. As you see here, the, the file size changes and uh, increases with how you do it. If we add the high quality mesh on there, and so on and so forth, you can uh, just kind of go through here. Not all of them have multiple options, I believe. Some of them are, I guess we went through all of them right there. Oh yeah, and then the asteroid belt, you can choose 16, 32, and no model. So you can choose your resolutions here and be good. And then once you've done that, you are ready to install. So this takes really, uh, it, it, it varies based on which, uh, which 
um, resolutions you took and whether or not you have volumetrics. But as you see here, uh, it's 14.35 uh, gigabytes, so that's not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and let this uh, go. It has a remaining time for me of 7 minutes 35 seconds. And when that's done, I'll see you, uh, well, when it's done. Once you're done downloading all the files, you'll be greeted with the Extracting Files window. Uh, it says this may take a while, but I'm sure you're used to long KSP loading times by now. And if you're playing RSS Reborn, there's a, there's a good chance you've had one or two mods in your files. And after a little bit of time, the setup is complete, and you can go ahead and click Finish. All that's left to do is open up CCAN and uh, run the game. And there we go. The game is loaded. As we can see here, the clowns are visible. If you start a new game uh, and launch just a, a quick little rocket, a little SRB up into the air, you'll notice, actually you don't even have to launch the rocket, but you'll see that the volumetric clouds are working. Once again, it's very important to make sure that you don't skip any steps in the process. That's the easiest way to potentially have an error. And if uh, you follow the letter to the T, either through my video here or through the instructions on the Wikipedia, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. And if you do have problems from there, uh, it's a lot easier for people to start to diagnose what the problem is. But anyways, I hope this tutorial helped. I hope you are able to get a working version of RSS Reborn on it. I hope you really enjoy having uh, having your playthrough. It is certainly a lot of fun and uh, really adds depth to the game that I think is uh, necessary. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward for more KSP videos and more RP1. If you did, please consider subscribing. Drop me a like, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.